Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of English in Practice. In today's lesson, I'll teach you five phrasal verbs that you can use when you talk about dressing up to go out. But before we start with these phrasal verbs, let me remind you what phrasal verbs are. A phrasal verb, as we said in previous episodes, consists of two parts. The first one is the verb, the second one is the particle. Sometimes or some phrasal verbs can have one particle or two particles. Now, a particle can either be a, a preposition or an adverb. In fact, I used two phrasal verbs at the beginning of this episode. The first one is dress up, the second one is go out. Let's talk about them. Dress up, as you can see, or as we said, has or consists of two parts. The first one is the verb, which is dress. The second one is the particle, which is up. And this particle, in this case, is a preposition. To dress up means to wear clothes that are more formal than the ones you usually wear, like you wear every day. The second one is go out. Now, go out again has two parts, the verb, which is go, and the particle, which is out. And the particle again is a preposition. Now, to go out means to leave your house and go to a social event. Let's have an example. Sally goes out a lot. If we say that, that means Sally leaves her house and goes to social events. Let's go through the five phrasal verbs that we need or we can use to talk about dressing up when going out. The first one on the list for today is get into. Now, this phrasal verb, of course, has different meanings according to different contexts. But today, we will only study the, or we will only look at the uh, meaning that concerns our context, which is clothing. Sally decided to put on her red dress, but she had trouble getting into it. Now, the example is, or tells you, that Sally is having trouble, or had in the past, had trouble getting into the dress. This tells you that Sally is not or was not able to wear the dress. She wasn't thin enough to get into the dress. So in other words, you can say that the dress now is too tight to fit her. The second phrasal verb we want to talk about is let out. Now, this phrasal verb, just like the first phrasal verb, has different meanings according to different contexts. Now, of course, the meaning that we are interested in is the meaning that is related to clothing. So, let's have an example and understand what that means. Sally decided to lose some weight or to have the dress let out. Now, we know what the first part of this example means. She wants to lose weight. But the second part suggests doing something with the dress, which is let out. Now, if you ask or if you have your dress let out, that means you take it to someone, usually a tailor, to make it wider, so it fits you now. Now, the third one on the list is pull on. Now, Pull on has a similar meaning to put on. So basically they have the same meaning, but there is a difference. If you pull on a piece of clothing, that means you put on this piece of clothing, but fast, quickly. Let's have an example. They came to pick her up without calling. So she had to pull on the black dress. What does that example mean? This example means that since she didn't have time, to choose what she wants to wear, or she wanted to wear, and she didn't have time to try different things on, that means she put on the black dress quickly. That's why we used pull on instead of put on. The fourth one on the list is smooth down. Now, this phrasal verb is usually used when we talk about a situation in which we didn't have time to iron our clothes, or maybe we just didn't have uh, an iron. So, it simply means that, that you can use your hands, you press your piece of clothing with your hands to make it flat. I didn't have time to iron my dress, so I just smoothed it down. What does that mean? It means since she didn't have time to iron the dress, which means she used her hands, not an iron, 
to make the dress flat and try to get rid of the uh, wrinkles on the dress. The fifth and the last one for today is fling off. Now again, fling off has a similar meaning to take off. If you take off a piece of clothing, that means you remove this piece of clothing. But what's the difference between take off and fling off? Fling off is also taking off a piece of clothing or removing a piece of clothing, but quickly. Once her favorite song started playing, she flung off her shoes to dance. In this example, I used flung off, and flung, by the way, is the past tense of fling. I said flung off instead of took off. Why? Because I want to show you that Sally took off her shoes quickly, as soon as she heard her favorite song, because she wanted to dance to the song. Today, we learned five phrasal verbs that we can use when we talk about dressing up or basically clothing in general. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.